Hi everybody, welcome very much to Azazu Gaming. We are ready to continue our adventure on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc DLC. This is our 15th episode, so thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and use the links down below to find me live on Twitch for an example. And let me know in the comments down below as well what you enjoy or what you think in general about this DLC and if you enjoyed more the part 1, the teal mask, or this part right here. So in the last episode we were exploring the polar biome and now we're going to do the trial of um, uh, Drayton, but first we're going to explore a little bit around here. Because I want to see if we can find the new Pokemon or some cool items and, my bad guys, defeat more trainers. If you defeat one more trainer, we'll receive some extra battle points or blueberry points from a lady over there on the rest station. So, oh, I was about to say, I doubt there is a trainer up here and then there is a trainer up here. Can't stop it, he says. What, what can't we stop, mate? No one can stop me, I'm in a total roll. Uh, oh yeah, uh-huh, let me know, let me see. Soren the student. All right. He throws Rotom and Golurk. So he's going for these D charges. D, D charges, yeah. And Golurk is not affected by it. The Volcaron is in a tough spot here. Let's change to Arcanine and go with a with a Bullet Seed into the Golurk. Arcanine maybe wasn't the best choice, now that I think about it. Yeah, they're going for a deep charge. Hopefully Tolkien can handle it. Ooh, half HP though. Let's see how, how much... Bl oh, Blood Seed will do a lot. Of it was a crit. Damn it. Still good damage. Oh, we got the knockout. Let's go. Well done, Tolkien. Well done. Let's go Raging Fury and switch into Glavantula. Seems good. Go. All right. Where are the knows. Good battle. What's over there? I think we were here before on last episode. Yeah, yeah, the Terra Duraldon, I remember. Oh, we can go all the way here. Yeah, I was thinking what will be the trial of Drayton? Maybe like catch Pokemon in the wild, defeat Pokemon in the wild. More Duraldon, more Sanchu. Nothing new, Snoover. Snubble. I'm really enjoying here the polar biome though. I think it's my favorite biome. It's very calm. With a lot of mountains to explore and whatnot. Oh, but well, I love the winter style sauce book. I may ask Daria, my girl, to make a beautiful statue of it. Winter form sauce book. Looking good. We have a TM over here, in the, hidden in the corner, Will-O-Wisp! Right. The Will-O-Wisp. Oh, well, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I just want to do that, I don't want to go... Actually, we can go all the way there. Right. What we gonna find here? Oh, we're so close to the thingy! Can we go... Oh, there seems to be a road here. 
Oh, that thingy! The evolution of Crab Roller! Crab... Crab Hammer? No, that's a move. Oh, I forgot his name. Curse! Crab Molar or something like that? I think we have one though. Oh, and he despawned. Oh no, there we go. Crab Mobi Naval, that's it. Yeah, we already have it. Bro, he's so close to, to the Terrarium Ball. Or whatever they call it, I forgot how they call it. Psychic Terra Shard. Miles Siri. Crab Roller. Why Crab Roller is only appearing up here? They were not down there. Look at it, we're so close. We can, we can, we can touch it. We can almost touch it. Let's see what we can do up there. There is a TM here, well placed. Meet your beam! That's actually a good TM. And there we go. The strength. What? What is. Oh, he's, don't tell me Strapagus inside. No way. Oh, oh, it's a classroom. Bro, all the way up here, really. You, you're telling me that you send your students all the way up here to have class. Bro, they're never coming here. I'm gonna post these on my socials. They never stay in the Pokeball. Have you tried Sleep Powder? Ah, good, good advice, actually. Bro, I'll never come to this class. It's so far away. Unless I have a Flying-type Pokemon that can carry me, right? That's a different story. Oh, another trainer. Nice. Please work out. Okay. Auto cannon doesn't have a lot of HP. Have to be careful with that. Blue seed. Blue damage. And it does not a crit, so it can crit. And even more damage. Alright. Bro, excellent damage to cannon. Excellent, excellent. Flash cannon! The cannon survives though. They go for trick room! I went for a roost, but the cannon goes down. Oh, it's a one hit knockout on the Matang. There we go. Lurk. Oh, bro, we are collecting a lot of ice stones. We can then sell them, right? Oh, so we are all, all the way here. I wanted to explore here. So we were all the way up there. Oh, there's a small lake over there. I want to check it out real quick. It's on the other side of the mountain. Damn it. Oh no, it's all the way up there. Okay, let's do it quick. Oh, look at this. There's a trainer here. So oh, cool. Hmm. 
He's saying that all of his Pokemon are cold? Let me guess, he has a nice type team. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny though. Bullet seal. Let's go. Oh, they go. Seal can learn fake out, really. Yeah, I love you. Enable, okay. Oh, Vupix with the Order uh, Bell is hanging on with like this good damage, but fro no way. It throws Orto Cannon. Rock Slide is super effective on our both Pokemon. The cannon thawed out because of Big Blast. Good damage. Let's go. Oh no! Bro, I'm switching in into a Rock Slide. Volcarona can be in danger there. Come on. Oh, we paralyzed our own Volcarona, no way. Oh man, yeah. Switching in Volcarona wasn't a good choice. And it got paralyzed immediately as well. Let's go Bastiodon! more Pokemon, really. Nice. Kremobin able goes down. Are oh, they good for Snowscape? AI not working well here. All right. Aurora Veil goes off. No more Pokemon. Let's see if we can get the knockout here or if we get confused. Raging Fury comes out. Four times pretty effective. Let's go. Alex the student was defeated. Wow, that's cold. <laughs> Maybe there will be Pokemon here once we unlock more Pokemon, right? We still didn't saw Beldum, right? Charge Storm Cavern, we were, we were already there. So I think it's time to go and face Drayton. Talk me, talk to me for the elite trial. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking at us. Okay, let's pay 150. No, let's pay 50. I mean, 
Oh, Drayton is coming in. Whoa, hold up. My friend here gets in free. Are you sure, Drayster? The rules say just charge it to my account. It ought to take care of it, yeah? That's not... Okay, understood. I'll make an exception. Many thanks, my man. There's my champ in the making. Thanks for coming. Let's hit the battle court real quick. No trial. It's a dance move. Feast your eyes on the majesty of the Polar Plaza battle court. It's majestic. It's basically the exact same battle court as in the other places, just colder. I like the colders. The colors. I'm a cold weather kind of guy, just like me. Not, not what you expect from a dragon type user, right? Anyhow, buddy, you came to do my lead trial, not listen to me ramble. So let's hop to it. I call my lead trial Terrarium Only Battles. Your goal is to clobber three of your fellow league clubbers in battle. Simple enough, right? But it's called Terrarium Only for a reason. Can you, you can only use Pokemon that meet two conditions. First, they gotta be the Pokemon that were caught living wild in the Terrarium. Second, you gotta be the one who caught them. Unless your whole party of Pokemon meets those conditions, no elite trial for you. I know I'm asking a lot, but what fun will it be if you just dipped into your own vault of beefy Pokemon and chased your, cheesed your way through? Nice, nice touch. Your opponents are under the same conditions, so you can't be too mad about it. What do you say, bud? Ready for the elite trial? I'm ready. That's your cue, underlings, come on out. I'm ready, hello, let's go. Oh, wait. I thought that we, we could go catch some Pokemon. Because we caught Glavantula and the Tokenon. Okay, we have time to go. Yeah, okay, okay, we can go catch Pokemon. Okay, so go on. Get out there and chill it up. Good luck, everyone give it your best shot. Win the Terrarium only battles. It's how... Can we filter that through our PC? Well... Let's try. I'm quite the cool customer. Ready to shiver? Let's go. Hey, you're on! We are frozen. Our character. Winter the student. Sandslash and Diogong to Cannon and Glavantula. Let's go for a Sticky Web and Bullet Seed into the Diogong. Nice damage there. Oh, is, is it a knockout? No, almost. Safeguard? Okay, so no paralyzing. Icicle crash. No problem. Oh, Tokenon survives, actually. And it was a crit! Wow. Wow. Our team is super weak to ice, by the way. We have to be careful. Diogon goes down. Diogon going down. Icicle crash into the Bastille Bone. No problem. Let's go for a D charge into an Iron Head. Good damage. Let's go. Oh, I didn't notice their levels. We can notice now. Oh, only 68. All right. That's fine. And we got a crit on Bastille though, no way. Yeah, luckily for us, we caught a lot of Pokemon before this challenge. 
can see why Drayton likes you. Alright, got a heal. I'm gonna make some changes because our team is very weak to ice. Right? Also, maybe they caught Pokemon from different biomes. Everybody here. Okay, let's bring another Pokemon. And Duralton is not weak to ice, by the way. Really useful. So let's go defeat this guy here. I love Pokemon with some brittle gray tones ready to battle. So this one from the um, Canyon biome. It's gonna be rock, fighting. Okay, I see. Bro, this, is, this challenge is really well designed, I think. But there, if there are four biomes, right? Somebody's missing here. You are challenged by Craig the student. Craig! That's a common thing in, in the canon biomes. And we have a Bastiodon and Ramparos. Volcarona, not in a good place. Uh, not Volcarona. Um, Glavantula, not in a good place. We can take Ramparos down, I think. Oh, it's a one hit knockout because it was a critical hit. Alright, Ramparos is really strong. Bastiodon is more useful. More technical than strong. Okay. It's, it's gonna be some quite okay damage. Rock slide. Not enough. Not a lot of damage. Bastiodon. Okay, let's change. To Flygon and go for a Roost. Yeah, Flygon, Token, good combo. We have Earthquake. Token is not affected by the Earthquake. We, we can see Token, but it went for Roost and it's healing up. Let's go Earthquake, Bullet Seal. Earthquake is 4 times super effective, but Bastiodon is very, very defensive. But it goes down, let's go. Your Pokémon are like gems, all references to the canyon environment. Yeah, but there, should, there is... So she's Polar Biome, Canyon Biome. And he will be savanna or coastal biome. Why only three? Right. You know Iono, the streamer? I use the same type as her, so like ready for a shock? Oh, so he's not he's not representing the biome, he's just electric type. Electric type, I mean. Interesting, but those two are representing the biomes, but this one is not. Oh no! It's from the Savannah biome, because there are Blitzels there. It's Abstrikers, right? Raid the student. Yeah. Okay, so he's representing the Savannah biome. So Cannon here might be in a pickle. Good damage! Flame charge! Nice! Critical hit and all boosting the speed, but it's going down. I think Tokenon is fast, yeah. Well done. It was a crit as well. Let's go, Tokenon! Let's go! And the Magnus Zone goes for a... what? Try attack! Oh, it gets a... bro! Everybody got crits! But the Glavantula. Let's go with... Uh, wait. Do they have Levitate? I'm actually not sure. If they have Levitate or not. Oh, well, let's try it. I think so, right? Levitate on the... If not, then we just go for a superpower next turn. Yeah, Levitate. Uh, no, 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 no. Isn't the fact token, so it's a one hit. Oh no, it's sturdy! 
coming out, but the bullet seed will finish it. Let's go. We defeated a lot of Magnazones, a lot of trainers using Magnazone. Let's go. That was electrifying, all right. So nobody representing the coastal biome. I don't know why. So that makes, let's see, one, two, three. Nice, you went and beat all three of them. Which means this elite trial is elite complete. Nice, thanks mate. Alright, Malik Club Assistance Retreat on the double. Goodbye, good battle, see ya. Aren't they great? No grumbly or nothing. Bunch of sweethearts. Time to battle. Looks like, look like it's finally time for you and me to battle. Guess you are still using the part you put together for my challenge though, huh? Go red, take a second and change it up, unless you want to dive right into battle. No rush on my end. To cannon Flygon. You know, that earthquake flying type combo, right? Welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Let's face Drayton. Ready to take on me, bud? Let's go. All right, it's on. Hmm, here should be good. You, I know. I was thinking, you, you know, I mean. I was thinking about the look you get when you are in battle. And I realized I've only ever seen you like that from the sidelines. Guess now I know what it is like to face you from across the, across the court. Let me be real, I'm counting on you to conquer the whole BB League, but I mean it, I need you to pull this off. You gotta come through for me. That said, I'm not just gonna roll over and miss out on the fun, so watch out! But no need for us to get all official or anything, just battle me normally like you, you would anybody else, Azo. Here's 100% race to the truth. I'm so psyched up, I'm practically tingling. Let's go! So why don't we get this rolling nice and easy? Let's go, mate. Let's go, bud. Show me a good time. We are challenged by Drayton, the BB League Elite 4. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. That's the... Oh, Dragonite and Flygon. We also have Flygon. Don't let me know, bud. No, one's, no one wants to see me ugly cry. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's, let's defeat the Dragonite because then we have Lapras in the back, which will be four times super effective. The Ice Dice Beam will be four times super effective in the Flygon, so that would be nice. Stone Edge comes through. Bro, they never miss Stone Edge. Lapras goes down. What? Fly of life orb Lapras. We miss a dragon rush. And they go for a nice speed. Oh, bro. Worst start possible here. Double knockout. Alrighty then. Let's go Darena. And Glavantula. And we gotta heal up at least the Lapras. Otherwise, I think we have no chance. Because the the Flygon has Stone Edge, we could turn a Water, just in case. Get a Water Quiver Dance, and Max Revive Lapras.
They go for an extreme speed. That's a lot of damage. And they go for... Bro, and they don't miss the Stone Edge again. They never miss. But now I think we're gonna be faster because of the Quiver Dance. Right? And I... I think we spam uh, Heat Waves. We, we might get some burns and we go for Sticky Web. So everybody else... Love until it goes down, no. Hopefully we get a good burn here. Good damage. No burns. Earthquake comes out. Tarina goes down. Oh my god. And we, we have to get our... Um, Dragon up as well because he's gonna have our childhood on for sure, which is Dragon Electric. So Earthquake can be super, super good there. Okay, let's Ice Beam the Flygon and Max Revive. Oh, wait, maybe we, we have to follow me here so we don't take a Stone Edge to the face of Lapis. Albert Born being super useful as always. Stone Edge? Yeah. Bro, they don't miss Stone Edge! Ne oh, bro, how? We missed Dragon Rush. They three times in a row got the Stone Edge. Whoa, not a lot of types can make me hit a super effective hit. That's true. Dragon type, right? Kingdra. Rain Dance! So Kingdra will be faster next turn. But they're, they're already after wind. Whoa. Good damage, Ogrepon. The Ogrepon is defensively built, by the way. So we should knock out... Or, oh, they have the berry and perhaps the scales? It was a crate, though! Well, that was beautiful. Seems like luck itself was a soft as a soft spot for you. All right. Oh, maybe they're trying to go for hurricanes. Let me try another follow me here. Extreme speed goes before the follow me. What? Wait, really? Oh man, we go for a follow a useless follow me, by the way. No, they just at the end they miss. Oh no, we have water absorb. Nice. At least we're getting some HP. <laughs> Let's go to cannon coming back on the field. Follow me. They go either up again, so that's all right. Nice spinner. Oh, it does a crit as well. Oh, and the tailwind goes down. So Ogre Pond should be faster now. But I still want to go for follow me. We're gonna eat another Hydro Pump, hopefully. Yeah, let's go. Gain some HP back. And now it goes for Ice Spinner, and it should, it should not be a crit now. Does no damage. So now, to Cannon. Like, Gudra is really not doing much, right? So let's take the Dragonite out of the field. The cannon hangs on with 12 HP, no way! And we knock out the Dragonite. Big Blast comes through. 
Nice damage, ain't gonna lie. The rain stopped, so Gudra... Setile! Setile can uh, Mega Evolve into a Dragon type. Let's go for the Follow Me. And knock out the Setile. I wasn't expecting to see a Setile here, by the way. They go for the Follow Me. They go for the Leap Storm. No damage. Alright. Hydro Pump. Ice Beam. No damage. Let's go. Big Blast. Ooh. Huge damage. Oh, set all attack and special. Oh, the weakness policy. So he's, he's now neutral attack. Alright, let's go. Neutral special attack, I mean. Acrobatics! Ooh, that was so much damage. And they missed the hurricane, luckily. Bro, that acrobatics. Because he's, he's a... Bro, that's a great strategy. His attack was boosted. But he, did, he doesn't care about that. Axorus comes in. Okay, let's get a bit of healing from the Kingdra. So, Cannon always threatening a burn? He's gonna get burned. Right? Yeah, let's go. Axorus gets burned. Beautiful. Really reducing the damage. We go for an Horn Leech, we get the Kingdra. And we get some HP, not much. But it's, it's some... And next should be the Archaruldor, Arch, Arch, Ludarudor, or something. Axeros gets hurt by the burden. Let's bring Lapras first, because he's gonna Terra. Archaruldor, that's it. Ah, oh, bro, it looks awesome. It looks a bit weird, to be honest, as well. But when you look really at it, it looks awesome. So here, oh, we could go for a Life Do. Life Do, Spiky Shield. Now watch this dragon's blood boil. Take control, our channel now. He's gonna Terra? Terra Dragon? Terra Dragon, alright. So no more electric, only dragon. Spiky Shield. Breaking Swipe is going to take damage from the Spiky Shield and from the Burn. Lapras hits it up like a champ. Ready to get blasted to smithereens? I won't leave you anywhere to run. Electro Shot. Oh. So he's gonna shoot an attack next turn. Oh, Water Absorb! So no life due, only Water Absorb. Okay. So let's go Ice Beam. No, we could actually switch. But I want big damage. Ice Beam into Follow Me. Dragon Dance? Well, I'm glad I went for the Ice Beam there. Electro Shot comes out. Nice. Gwen survived with 2 HP! Let's go! Oh no. Oh, it's, it's gonna die for the burn? Yes! Damn! Alright. 
Let's go. Ice Beam. And now we just go for IV Cudgels. Hopefully we get some crits. We faster though. Boom. No crit. Oh, stamina? What? It's gonna take another turn to shoot. Let's go. Good damage, Lapras. Come on. Oh, it was not enough. Freeze? Ooh. Okay. We follow me again. Our oh, problem is really saving us with follow me's. Right. Now they, they shoot the attack. It's a great animation. Gwen survived. Oh, so we don't feel sad. Thank you, Ogreporn. Nice damage. Bro, this Pokemon is dangerous. Let's go, Ivy Cudgel. Finish the deal. Bro, what a tough battle. I really enjoyed it. It was super bad start for us. We miss, right? And they have Stone Edge, which they never missed. So if it wasn't the healing items, we would lose. But... Then if we can be more prepared, we can win it without healing items. It was a really good battle, though. Really good battle. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Great battle, bro. I really enjoyed it. Hehehe, <laughs> man. That was ridiculous. So much fun. I knew inviting you to join the League Club was the right move. And I guess if you can beat me... We better make you a full member finally. What'd you say? Ready to be the real deal? Yes. Haha, <laughs> bless you and your generous heart. Come on, let's get a photo of you for the club roster. Nice. Great and defeated. Lacey probably would have wanted a more serious photo. She might be not. Th she might not be thrilled, but oh well. I feel like there was one more thing I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, we gotta give DMs to whoever can beat us Elite Four members. I gotta go grab that. Wait here a sec. Sorry for the hold up. I'm back. That's the BB League Four all beaten. You schooled every Elite One of us. Here's your reward. Like I said. Dragon Cheer? What's that? The user raises its allies' morale with a draconic cry so that their future attack has a heightened chance of landing critical hits. This rouses dragon types more. Ooh. Guess I should have cleaned it, but that's what that's that but what's a little dust between friends? Man, it's like I blinked and you plow through the whole BB League. You know what's next for you, right, bud? Defeat Kiran. You are good enough to beat all Elite Four of us, so you and only you have the right to challenge the sitting Blueberry League champion Kiran. You really kept me waiting. Took you a while to beat Elite Four. Kinda slow for you, isn't it? Nice, Kiran. You've really got S on the brain, huh? You'll say the same thing about you, Drayton. You sure are putting a lot of effort into helping Esso out. Who wouldn't help out a new student? Gotta be good to our fellow humans. That's rich coming from you. Whatever you are planning, it's about to come to an end. Esso? Let's settle who's the strongest between us two once and for all. It's finally time. I'm pumped for you. You'll have to go sign up at the front desk to get your championship match going. No sense waiting around, let's go! Damn, let's go guys! Let's face Kiran, but that will be for the next episode! Thank you very much for watching, your support is greatly appreciated! I hope you to see you here on the next episode as well! Catch me live on Twitch, leave a like and subscribe! Until the next time, as a Cloud Surfer, surfing out! See you soon!